Hello everyone, I am Shankha Subra Sanyal and I welcome you all on behalf of S-Cubes classes. Well, I am really thankful to all of you for your overwhelming response. The amount of uh, love that you have shown to your mails, to your uh, feedbacks, I am really grateful. I am really privileged. Well, the physical state of a matter can also be changed by changing the pressure. In other words, the physical state of a matter can also be changed by increasing the pressure or decreasing the pressure. For example, gases can be changed into liquids by increasing the pressure accompanied by lowering of temperature. And some solids like uh, solid carbon dioxide can change into gases on decreasing the pressure. Let us take an example and discuss this in a little details. When a high pressure is applied to a gas, it gets compressed into a small volume. And when uh, we also lower its temperature, it gets liquefied. So we can also say that gases can be liquefied, that is turned into liquids by compression and cooling. Now, how it actually happens? You know, there is a lot of space between the particles of gas. So when we uh, reduce the spaces between the particles of a gas by enclosing it in a cylinder and compressing it by pushing in the piston, enough force is applied to the piston, the gas is highly compressed into small volume. The particles of gas get so close together that they start attracting each other. And we say that the gas has actually liquefied. When a gas is compressed too much, then heat is produced due to compression. So when applying pressure to liquefy gases, it is necessary to cool them to take away the heat produced during compression. Cooling lowers the temperature of compressed gases and helps in liquefying it. So, what we can conclude? We can conclude that gases can be liquefied by applying pressure and lowering the temperature. 